Hey guys, it's Em. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is gonna be my top 10 favorite pink lipsticks from the drugstore. So I will be applying every single one of these colors on my lips as I talked about them so you will be able to see what they look like on me. I will let you know why I love them and I hope I didn't forget anything. I feel like as soon as I'm gonna be done filming this, I'm gonna realize I forgot to talk about one or two. But the fact that I did think about these 10 shades first says a lot about these. They are amazing, so I will be sharing them with you. First one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick by Kate Moss. This one is the color 101, which is just a beautiful nudie baby pink everyday color on my skin tone at least. I think it's really wearable. It kind of reminds me of the Satin Finish by MAC, so it goes on pretty creamy, but kind of dries down to a matte finish without being drying. It does transfer if you kiss or drink or something. But color is still gonna stay on your lips, so it will last you for a few hours. Personally, I really, really enjoy the scent, which is kind of a fruity scent. I know some people uh, don't like it, so I would suggest to try and smell them in store before buying them. But this is one of my favorite uh, formula from the drugstore, especially the ones in the red packaging. They are more matte than the uh, black packaging, which are just a little bit more creamy, but they're just as great. But I kind of prefer a little bit these ones. Talking about the black packaging ones, I had to mention the color 20, which I believe came out with their spring collection last year. Absolutely love this color. It looks so beautiful, perfect for spring and summer. Kind of a magenta color with a hint of purple in it. Super wearable. It would suit absolutely any skin tone too because there's no white base in it. Again, really comfortable, really creamy, smells fruity again. These last perfectly on your lips until you eat, which again, they leave a little bit of a stain, so you could be able to just uh, pull it off that way, but I kind of prefer just reapplying it, which they don't look cakey when you reapply, which is always a great thing. For the last few months, I've been totally obsessed with purpley, mauve pink lipsticks, and this is no exception. This is the Maybelline Lust for Blush, which came out with their uh, creamy matte uh, formula. By the way, absolutely love. I did do a lip swatch video that I'll link down below, but absolutely love these. They don't smell as bad as the other line from Maybelline, which is the same thing with the other ones that I will mention. I feel like the regular line smells really strongly of plastic. This one kind of smells like it, but not as much, especially when it's on your lips, you don't smell it at all, which I wouldn't be able to wear it otherwise. But this color is just absolutely amazing. This color would suit so many skin tones just because it is a pretty like medium mauvey pink color. It's not too white based, it's not too pink, it's not too uh, cool tone, warm tone. I just feel like it looks amazing on anyone. But definitively one of my favorite pink lipsticks. Talking of Maybelline lipstick, I absolutely love their Vivid range. I will only mention two, but I could mention a third one, like the Fuchsia Flash one, gorgeous. But I really wanted to include this bright Barbie pink, which is the color Pink Pop, which to be a bright pink, it's a bright pink. Not something I would wear on a daily basis, but I think it's just so much fun. You can always mix it up with something else to make it more wearable. But if I'm looking for a Barbie pink from a drugstore, this is like one of my first choices. It's just so beautiful. Love the formula of these. They last so well on the lips. They stain your lips as soon as like they dry down to a semi-matte finish. They do transfer if I kiss my hand or something. This one I feel kind of more similar to the Implify finish from uh, MAC. So really pigmented colors. Once the first layer is gone, uh, there's a stain that is left. Absolutely love these. I as much as Pink Pop is not necessarily wearable for everyone, especially because it is white based, this one, everyone needs to get this. This is the color Vivid Rose, which as you can see, kind of a pinky, rosy shade. Oh, this would suit anyone. Like everyone that I've seen wearing this, it looks amazing. Super wearable, super comfortable. They do smell, uh, once again, a little bit like plastic. But I feel like it's not as bad as their regular line, which I really, again, can't stand. This, love it. Uh, it doesn't smell on my lips. It, again, uh, dries down to a stain. I wear it all day. You can just actually just tap it on your lips with a little bit of a uh, lip balm or just on your dry lips. You just blend it and it's just a beautiful stain that would last all day. Absolutely recommend this for absolutely anyone. Can I say absolutely more? If you're looking for one lipstick to buy for spring, you need this one in your life. Another not so wearable shade, but again, so much fun, can't help it, need to talk about these. The Wet n Wild Miguel Ast lipsticks are $2.89 in Canada, so they're probably cheaper in the US. Absolutely amazing. These are so pigmented, like I just need to show it, like, You get so much for your money. They are comfortable in the lips. I know some people think they're drying, personally don't have any issue. They don't smell like anything. The packaging is a little cheap and does get really dirty really quickly, but you get so much pigmentation for a price. Absolutely love this. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. 
So if you're looking for really fun colors, especially the pinks, they have so many. I left it for like two seconds on my hand and it's like stained, so. If you love mint tone pink, you will love the Milani Statement Lipstick in the color 33, which is Rose Amour. These smell like fruits, once again, so if you love the type of lipsticks, you need to try this one. It is somewhat of a uh, matte finish. It goes on really creamy. Kind of reminds me actually from the formula of the matte lipstick from MAC. It goes on creamy, but it dries down pretty quickly to a matte finish. It's not drying. So once again, the color will transfer if you drink or eat, but this one, most of the color will stay no matter what, so. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa is one of my favorite colors ever. It's such a bright Barbie pink. Kind of reminds me of Candy Yum Yum by MAC. So as I was saying, it goes on like a mousse at first and dries down to really, really matte finish. You can drink, you can kiss, and barely anything will transfer. The only thing that will make it remove is if you eat something, especially that is greasy, then most of the uh, inside will disappear, which kind of usual. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is that you kind of have to remove it completely before reapplying it, just because it can be a a little too cakey when you apply it over the top. But otherwise, if you're just planning to go outside your house and just be drinking, not eating, these will last for hours. Kind of wanted to give a special mention to the NYX MAC lipstick, which I adore this formula. This one is a little bit more on the mauve nude side, but since I did the same thing with the IN version, why not? This is a dupe for MAC Faux, so if you were looking for something more affordable, you will love this one. It is on the gray side, especially if you have warm skin tone, might not suit you, but if you're more like neutral or cool tone, you need this in your life. Looks amazing, so comfortable on lips. They don't have a scent, they are creamy, even though they say they're matte, they're not really that matte. They are more like creamy, dries down to a matte finish type of lipstick, somewhat of like the uh, satin finish from MAC. These will last perfectly on your lips until you eat, and even if you, you eat, the only thing that will happen is like the inside will be just left with a stain, so it doesn't look crazy. You can easily reapply it over the top too. The next matte lipstick range has so many beautiful pink, like Audrey, Summer Breeze, there's so many different ones, but the one I really want to mention is the one that I'm wearing right now, and it is the color Sweet Pink, just because I absolutely love MAC Flat Out Fabulous lipstick and I've been trying to find a dupe, but it's really difficult. But I think this one is pretty close. So this one is the NYX one, whoops, and this one is Flat Out Fabulous. So I think maybe not an exact dupe, but I would say that it's similar enough that if you want to not splurge on the MAC lipstick, get Sweet Pink. The main difference, it, it's like, it's a hint more like gray, less bright, but that's it. I feel like on my lips, there's not a huge difference. Absolutely recommend this because this, will suit anyone. <laughs> Again, great formula, super creamy, super comfortable, doesn't emphasize any fine lines, any uh, dry patches, lasts long on your lips, doesn't have any funky scent, so if that's an issue for you, super affordable. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done, and I will see you in my next video, bye.